Hey guys, in this video I'm going to teach you how to play Cole by Dylan Gossett. It's in standard tuning with a capo on the 4th fret, and if you happen to click on this video and you haven't heard the song, go listen to it. It's really, really freaking good. It's pretty simple too. So it only uses 3 chords, A minor, open A, 2nd fret D, G, 1st fret B, open high E, G, 3rd fret low E, 2nd fret A, open D, G, B, 3rd fret high E, if you want to play that one. And then an F major bar chord, 1st fret A, 3rd fret, sorry, 1st fret E, 3rd fret A, and D, 2nd fret G, 1st fret B, and high E. Those are the only three chords in the entire song. They're played in that order throughout the entire song. And you just kind of switch between some hammer-on open chord strums and some palm muted strums. Pretty straightforward. Now I've seen a few videos on YouTube teaching how to play the basic part of the song, the... But a lot of them are missing the extra hammer-ons that he's doing. Which I think make it a really cool, cool song to play with such simple chords. So I'm going to show you how to do that version. So the first thing I'm going to show you how to play is the intro, and that's got all the hammer-ons. It's the hardest part, so if you can get past this, the rest of the song is going to be super easy. So again, it sounds like this. So starting with that A minor, we're going to leave the D and G string open so we can do a hammer on to the second fret on that first strum. So hammer on, you're just basically fretting after you've already picked the string. Uh, so middle finger is going to hammer on to the second fret of the D, ring finger is going to hammer on to the second fret of the G. You can do that hammer on, and then you're going to go down again, and then up, down. switch to the G chord, 3rd fret low E, 2nd fret A. Now in this one we're also going to do a hammer on that first down strum and that's going to be a hammer on from open A to 2nd fret of the A. So down, hammer on, down again, and this time we're going to do a quick little up strum and we're going to fret the 1st fret of the B string. And that up strum is really only going to strum on the 1st fret of the B and open G. Then you're going to take the first fret off of the B and then do up, down, up for the rest of the chord. It's really quick. Next chord is going to be an F major bar chord. So you're barring the first fret of all the strings. Then you got the third fret A and D, second fret G. This one gets extended as far as the strumming pattern goes. It's going to sound like this. So we're still going to do down, down, up, down, up, up, down, up. And then we're going to do one more up, down, up strum, but you're going to stop barring the first fret of, the, of all the strings. And you're going to do an up, down, up strum with the B and the uh, high E string open. stopping that bar and doing up, down, up. That, I would say, is probably the hardest part of this song, but if you can get it, it's gonna sound so good when you play it all the way through. Now we're gonna repeat that progression, play it essentially the same way, but we're gonna end the F a little bit differently. So again. So the second time around, you're going to end the F chord with down, down, up, down, down, and then you rest right before getting into the verse. And that just adds a little bit of variety to the song. So that's how you play the intro, and it is also the interlude in between uh, each of the verses and the verse and choruses. And the next part I'm going to show you is the verse, and it's going to be really easy for you because it's played essentially the same way, just with fewer hammer-ons and pull-offs. What you're going to do is palm mute uh, while you're doing this, take the outside part of your palm and rest palm, palm, and rest it on top of the uh, strings over here on your picking hand. Again, we're going to do the same strumming pattern, same progression from A minor to G, F major, and it's going to sound like this. 
same strumming pattern for A minor. You do that first down strum with the hammer on. Down, up, down, up. And when you're palm muting, you may get some extra strings ringing out. Don't worry about it. As long as you got that feel going, it's going to sound just fine. G is going to be played the same. You get that initial hammer on on that first down strum, but you don't have to do the B hammer on pull off that we did in the intro. So that one's just going to be down, down, up, down, up, and then F, no hammer-ons or pull-offs, just down, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, and then we repeat, but again change the F major chord to have that little break in between. So. so again, the first one gets strummed all the way through, second one takes a little break at the end of the F chord. Now at the end of each verse, he's going to play those same chords, but just do one down strum. So for example, on the first verse where he says, Your voice echoing throughout those trees. He's only doing one down strum for each chord, still doing a hammer on on the A minor and the G, but one down strum, let him ring out, give that strumming a break. So the next part up is the chorus, and again, it's going to be super easy for you because it's played the same way as the verse without the palm mutes. So it's played the same way as the verse, all the way up until you get to And pressure makes diamonds, how the hell am I still cold? You even do the one down strum for each chord at the end of the chorus. Now before I get to the bridge, I do want to mention one thing. At the end of the chorus, he does something a little bit different after he says, How the hell am I still cold? So normally you would just end on that F chord, but to build up to the bridge, he does this, uh, and then gets into the bridge. So all he's doing is that F chord, and he's building like a, a crescendo, sort of. He's going down, down, down gets a little bit louder, but after that down strum, that last down strum, you stop fretting, so you get that muted strum, the strings stop ringing out. And he does this little slide down before getting into the next, the next part, the bridge. And that happens really quickly. If I do it slow, it sounds kind of weird, but you're essentially just trying to get that slide down uh, sound, like you're leading into something new. And all I'm doing is putting my uh, middle finger on the 8th fret of the E, D, and E, A, and D strings. I'm strumming down and immediately sliding my fingers down uh, the fretboard until I can get back into the chord progression for the bridge. So You don't have to do that part. You can just down, 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 and then get into the bridge, but just a little bit extra. Sounds really good. Now the bridge, I'm going to say it again, play it the same way. You have A minor, G, and F, and it's going to sound like this. When every day is getting colder since that day in October when you told me it was over, so I left. So again, same strumming pattern, down, down, up, down, 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 down. Again, at the end of the bridge, where it says, Trying to find the four leaf clover, get me out of this mess. He's just doing the one down strum in between. So the song is very repetitive, but somehow it makes those three chords sound a little, a little different between each part of the song. So the last part I want to talk about is the very end of the song, which is not much of a change, but notable. It's where he find, it says the final, and pressure makes diamonds, how the hell? Am I still cold? All he's doing is that one down strum, but he's muting right after the strum, like this. Pressure makes diamonds, how the hell am I still cold? So all you gotta do for that is you do the, start with the A minor chord, down, stop fretting, and then mute with your, your picking hand over here. Try to show it here. That's all I'm doing. Resting my palm right on top of the string so they stop ringing out. 
Pressure makes diamonds. How the hell am I still cold? Just rest your palm over there and stop turning out. So that might have seemed long-winded compared to the other tutorials you may have already looked at, but I hope I taught you how to do the, the little bit extra pieces that I think make the song sound so great. If you haven't heard his other songs, they, they came out recently. To Be Free came out first, and then Beneath Oak Trees just came out uh, on the 6th. And both of them are awesome songs. I really enjoy them. I'm going to do a cover and probably a tutorial for To Be Free after I do the tutorial for Beneath Oak Trees. I made a cover of that one with a tab, so if you want to learn that one too, you already know about it, you can check out the tabs on the website, which will be linked below. I'm trying to get back into making more videos for you guys, so if you have any requests or a song that you've wanted to learn that you can't find the tutorial for, or you just feel like the tabs online aren't right, I'd be happy to give it a go. Uh, I'm looking to learn more songs and, and get back into YouTube. So please, let me know. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.